Hello my fellow humans, welcome back to another daily dice where we ask a dice for a message and find out what that is. I do want to say thank you to anyone and everyone that continues to be a supportive part of this journey, this tribe, this ever-growing channel. I'm truly honored to be sharing this time and this space with you. For those of you that are new here, welcome. This is that reminder that we're all here sharing this human space, this human experience, this human life together, and that this is a safe space to show up as your highest, most aligned, loving, authentic self. If this happens to resonate with you, it would mean so much to me if you were to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Well, with that being said, today we are going to go ahead and get angel messages for you and find out what comes through. So angels of highest light and love, what messages do you have for my fellow humans today? What would you like them to know? Angels of highest light and love, what messages do you have for my fellow humans today? Okay, so we've got the fourth house, we've got Mercury, and we've got Virgo. Okay. Feels like having patience with a home situation. Like you thought it was going to end a lot faster than it is. You've asked for help here. You've asked for guidance. You've asked for getting you out of a difficult situation. Something where someone is very impatient. Someone is very overprotective. Very, very much in this energy of being a perfectionist. Like pushing it onto you if you're not exactly how they expect you to show up. That you're not what you say you are. I don't know why that is coming through, but it is very strong. It feels like, you know, it's almost like if you don't get straight A's, then you're failing. Or if you don't have, make a certain amount of money, you're failing. If you don't hold a specific position, then you're failing. Like nothing that you do helps the situation. It wouldn't surprise me if a lot of you still lived at home. And if you don't, then this is just like a home situation that you have to continue to go back to time and time again. And it's so frustrating. It feels like it triggers you really deeply and it creates a lot of instability within you. And here they're saying to just remain humble in your energy. Like there's no need for you to prove yourself and especially to people who don't want to be proven wrong. Like they don't. This is someone who does not want to be proven wrong in any one way, shape, or form. And so even if you did do everything that they asked you to do, there is nothing that this, this person would find a whole nother list of reasons why you weren't good enough or why you weren't worthy or why you were a problem or whatever it is. This person is the one that has the problem. And it feels like one person, it could be multiple people, but this could be a Cancer, a Gemini, a Virgo. This could be someone who has a Cancer, Gemini, Virgo, Moon. It's just interesting. This is this feels like a very heavy energy. Like, it's very exhausting. It's very overwhelming. And it's like you dread having to deal with them in any one shape, way, shape, or form. And while this person, they may be direct in some cases, there are other cases where they're very indirect in the way that they approach you. And they're very harsh with their words sometimes, but sometimes they're very harsh with their instant insinuations right they, they insinuate certain things or like it's like they're not saying it directly to you but they're telling you how they feel because of another person does that make sense like, this is a really weird reading this is a really weird energy coming through it's like your intuition is saying like i know that they're referring to me it feels like they're referring to me even though they're talking about sally or even though they're talking about bob or even though they're talking about bill or whatever it is right like it's like this energy where it's like, oh, well, Bill needs to have a better paying job so that he can actually take care of his family and do this. And you're over there like, okay, like, but it's, it's, it's not about Bill, right? It feels like it's about you. And that's what this is coming through. And your angels are saying to just stay humble and to stay modest at this time because there's going to be a time when this person literally opens mouth and inserts foot clean up to the thigh. Like, they don't want you to focus on this person. They want you to just remain as innocent as you can in the situations. And part of that means not engaging in the arguments that this person is trying to force on you from time and time again. It feels like every time you come into this energy, it could be a Virgo, a really strong Virgo energy right now. But it feels like this person is always trying to engage you in an argument a disagreement and it might not even be about your own life it may just be about anything in general like 
acting like you don't remember situations and acting like you don't recall certain things that happened in time and history. And if it's recorded, if it's something that's recorded that you can show them like, yeah, I do remember this, then they always change the subject or they they don't ever take accountability for how they showed up in the connection at that time. This is someone who's really difficult to deal with. This is some someone who plays a lot on your emotions and they're so used to you reacting instead of responding and your angels here they want you to yeah they want you to take a step back and learn how to respond and i feel like you've been doing a good job of that i feel like that's definitely something that you've been working on there's a lot of twists and turns when it comes to this connection though it feels like there's constantly ups and downs it's a huge massive roller coaster ride nothing is comfortable here yeah you are going to get inspiration and understanding of how to move beyond this situation this person just wants to have access to your energy 24 7 right and there's going to be some balancing out of the scales here okay yeah, this is someone who's extremely toxic to your energy. They're just very toxic. It's not just you, though. Like, it's not something you can take it personal, but really taking it personal doesn't do anything. It doesn't help the situation. This is how they act with anybody that gets close to them. They always try to hold something over a person's head. They've always got something to say. They're mocking them. This person just is very, very much out of touch with reality. They're a smooth talker here. They like putting anxiety on people, making them feel disconcerted. Is that a word? <laughs> okay, well, they don't want them to feel like they have control in their life. And it's interesting because this person is very much out of control. And so the more that they can put it on another person to feel out of control the better they feel because then they're like oh ha i'm not alone yeah you could say that's narcissistic energy but i'm not here to diagnose anybody with narcissism it does sound narcissistic by nature but it could also just be someone who's just miserable in life and misery loves company okay we have water energy here this could be a cancer pisces scorpio we have spirituality emotion intuition and compassion so they want you to remain in this place of listening to your intuition and being compassion, you know, compassionate does not mean being a doormat for this person. But what compassion means that is instead of arguing, saying, you know what, if you're going to act like this, I'm going to remove myself from the situation because this is not something that I would like to engage in at this time. You never lose your cool. You always stay level headed. This person is not going to know what to do in a situation like that. OK, yeah, look, I cannot make this up. We have square energy here, a challenging situation. It's a mountain to climb. This person doesn't want to heal. Like, they don't want to heal. This is something they just, that's like, can't teach an old dog new tricks. Like, you know, and, and they really think that the more that they make people feel bad, then they're not alone in the world, but they don't realize how they're pushing people away by doing that. Like, we have Chiron on the bottom. Hurt and heal. This is a part of your journey to help heal your Chiron. Right? That's the wounded healer. You're going to help other people overcome hardships like this. You're going to help other people get beyond situations that are difficult like this and while that is inspiring at times sometimes it's really frustrating like well yeah but i have to go through it now right and i get that but it's there's a there's a purpose for you coming back to centering yourself we have be loyal to what you love here with dog spirit this is important for you to remember what is important to you okay <laughs> how many times can we say important in a sentence but really following your intuition here is so vital listening to what messages you're getting this is a completion of a cycle for you this is something that once you let go of you're not gonna it's not that you're not gonna deal with people like this anymore it's just that you're you're gonna be in an energy where you know how not to invite people like this in anymore so we have electric eel spirit bring your ideas to life with 24 this is about balance resolution solution harmony seeing yourself through eyes of unconditional love this is also talking about you focusing more on your journey than focusing on this person because this person wants you to focus on them that's what they want this person wants you to have all eyes on them and your angels are trying to help you divert your energy and your attention to somewhere that's more conducive to your journey because this person's not gonna they're not gonna change they're gonna keep trying to get your attention always that's what they want 
So let's see what else comes out here. We have Serena. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Okay, so maybe you are trying to earn the money to get away from this person, to be stable enough to live without this person. Things will shift for you. There's inspiration coming here, okay? And then we have, look, Serafina, I am the I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. So again, the angels are pointing out here that this is a family situation. It feels like it's close to home. But they're saying here that when you refocus that energy back on yourself, this is going to change the dynamic here. And this person, they may not know what to do, but when there's ever a dynamic that changes within a family, it actually forces other people to change to compensate for what's missing. It's kind of like seeing what, when I went to therapy, she showed me, it's like a life's mobile, right? Like when the mobile hangs over the baby and if you remove one of the animals, all the other animals have to move around the mobile to even it out. And so when you remove yourself from life's mobile or fam your family mobile, your whole family has to move around to even out so that you're not li they're not lopsided. And it's like to make up for your lost energy, everybody else will compensate for that. And you don't have to worry about that. And that's what they're really trying to show here. You know, they're trying to help you come into a more balanced state. We have Zaina here with you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and to feel safe. So you are safe. You are protected. Things are working out. Remember, compassion is not about being a doormat. Compassion is about keeping yourself safe while letting everyone know that you're still showing up from a place of unconditional love, which sometimes people get confused, like, oh, so you mean I have to love this person and do everything for them? It's not about that. It's about saying, if a situation gets out of hand, being really calm and collected and saying, like, you know, I understand that this situation is really difficult right now, but until we both calm down, I'm removing myself from the situation because this is not how I want to discuss things. I will be more than happy to discuss this with you when we're both calmed down. But right now is not the time or the place to get into this. And it's just about keeping a cool, cool calm, collected head. And that's what your angels want you to focus on right now, okay? So this is what I see for you here. If you feel like this is your message, leave the little water emoji down below or like the ocean tide. Leave the ocean tide down below. And say, I allow my safe, myself to stay calm and collected and lean on my angels in times of emotional turmoil, knowing that I'm growing and glowing. If this happened to resonate with you, it would mean so much to me if you were to like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you're interested in supporting the channel further, you can always click in the description box. You'll find all the links necessary to do so. You can email me for a personal reading. You can follow me on over to my podcast on Spotify. You can even join as a member, and I would love to see you on memberships, but if not, thank you for your continued support here. I'm going to go ahead and leave this here and get on out of here, but until next time, stay human. Oh, wait, I do want to take a quick second to thank your guides, your spirit messengers, your angel source, and my guides for coming together to give us this message. Shout out to the angels for making themselves very clear on this, and as always, until next time, stay human. Bye.